Hello love, thank you for spending your time with me today. If you are a returning subscriber, I wanna be the first to welcome you back and extend my gratitude towards you. If you are new, I want to welcome you to the community and introduce myself. My name is Sarah and I'm a part-time reseller on websites such as eBay, Poshmark, Macari, and Kittison. I am also a full-time assistant principal at an underserviced community. So this really is just part-time work for me. In being part-time, I tend to spend about two hours a day on reselling, usually not much more than that. So my sales sometimes are up, sometimes they're down. But what I'm going to share with you today is a pretty typical week of different sales. First, I'm going to share with you my sales on my highest performing platform, this week, which is eBay. I was hesitant to start on eBay for so long. I thought it was like scary doing the shipping and my boyfriend finally convinced me to join eBay and now it's my highest performing platform. So I have him to thank for that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and share with you what is selling over on eBay. So the first thing to sell the first week of October on eBay was a Squishmallow Squish Dew, a 10 inch, it was called Melora, an orange uh, Squishmallow. And this I got from my mom and she has been so supportive in me and reselling and she works in a Target. So anytime she sees something that she notices a lot of resellers are getting, she goes ahead and picks stuff up for me to put up on the platform. So essentially I just repay her the cost of the goods and she supports me in this journey and lets me keep the profits of it. So I appreciate that so much. Tell people what you do for sure. The second thing to sell over on there was a Nike toddler gray and black camel, a hat and mitten set. And that I got from my Quick Lots half palette of the General Merchandise. So it was the second one, it was the second one to sell. So I don't have any more of those. The next thing to sell over on eBay was Batman sweatpants. Now I did have a shirt that went along with this, but there was something that spilled in the palette that I received it in. So I was, I had to throw out the shirt and I was only able to sell the sweatpants. But that palette that I got was a Quick Lots Amazon palette. And that palette has actually done pretty well for me. Um, I will speak to that a couple of times throughout just this video. And then of course, throughout my reseller journey in general. The next thing to sell was a Tahari Lime Green. It was a zip up blazer. That is something that I purchased from Goodwill for myself. It was $3.50. I bought it about a year ago. I wore it a couple of times and then I put it up on eBay because I noticed I wasn't wearing it as much. It was pretty warm and I live in Florida. So it wasn't really, I wasn't able to wear it as much as I wanted to. So I got one, put, put that up on eBay. It didn't sell for very much, but again, I wasn't getting much wear out of it. And I already got 350 worth of wear from that. The next thing to sell was a Colgate Zero artificial flavoring toothpaste. This is something that I got from a wholesale ninjas lot. I got the HPA. It was, I want to say it was about $3, maybe $2.50 a piece. So this really, since it was free shipping and after fees, like I really almost lost money on it, but I knew it was something that I wasn't going to use. So I was okay with getting rid of it. A lot of stuff from that lot, I actually ended up keeping myself. So I wasn't that mad about it. The next thing to sell was a Tommy Hilfiger Purple Palm Desert Polo Dress. Now this was new with tags, but it was also free from somebody that I connected with over on the Nextdoor app. I did a haul of this and I will definitely link it down below and up above for you to check out later. The next thing was that sold H&M Navy Dress with like a red stripe down the side. This was also came from that same lady from that free lot. It was new with tags, so I was happy to get anything from that. The next thing to sell was also from that same lot. It was a Free People Summer Nights tunic dress. It was worn, but it looked like it was worn like one time. Um, of course, I listed it as pre-owned, but I'm sure the person that got it was happy to realize that it was 
hardly ever worn. I could have listed it as new without tax if I wanted to. The next thing to sell was also from that same lot. It was an Abercrombie & Fitch white dress. It had kind of like a lace overlay. It was free as well, so I was happy to get anything from it. The next thing to sell was a Calvin Klein's jean hoodie dress. It was like a full on hoodie, but it was dress length. That also was from that free lot. I wasn't too picky on the prices with the stuff that was free. I was just, just trying to turn it over so that I can reinvest it. Next thing to sell is from that same lot. Um, it was a Tommy, Hilf Tommy Hilfiger sweatshirt dress in navy. It was dry cleans, so every time I notice that there's a dry cleaning tag, I list it as in excellent dry cleaned condition, because I know for me, if I see something that's dry cleaned, I know that somebody is taking extra care in it. So I always put that in the listing when I notice it's, it is dry clean. Next thing to sell was the green faux wrap v-neck, or v-neck as I had it listed, dress. Um, that came from my Quick Lots Amazon palette that is actually still doing pretty well for me. The next thing to sell, I probably could have gotten more money from this, but it was a bulky nude fishnets. I really couldn't tell if they were used, if they were new. I didn't really know anything about the brand, so I started at 99 cent auction, and of course it stayed there and, and it listed from there. The good thing is that I overcharged for shipping, so I got actually more than that 99 cents but really, I, I know I probably could have gotten more for that, but you know, whatever. The next thing to sell was the Lexan phone charger and sanitizer. Now I got a couple of sanitizers in my Quick Last Half Palette and that's what this is from. I was worried that they wouldn't sell, so I was just willing to take anything for it. So that was all for eBay and of course that was my platform that I had the most sales on. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to Poshmark. On Poshmark during this week, I had an Illinois State cropped gray sweatpants. I did go to Illinois State during college. These pants I wore for the past 10 years. There was a little hole in the crotch area, but I of course listed that in the listing. That's an easy fix for people that know what they're doing. I didn't care to fix it. They were sweatpants. They were probably going to go in the garbage or Goodwill anyways. These sweatpants were part of my BOGO sales. Anytime I have inventory that I just need to get rid of, I put in my BOGO, which is buy one, get one free. Right now it's actually buy one, get four free because I really just want to get rid of some stuff. So if that didn't sell soon, I was probably going to take that to Goodwill and just be done with it. The next thing to sell was a bundle of snowflake socks in two different sizes. I was happy to get rid of these because they were pretty bulky in my inventory system. And I put my inventory in boxes of 10 and really each of these socks took like three slots of a shirt up. So I was really that's almost like getting rid of six different items in terms of space. So I was happy to get rid of these. These came from my Quick Lots Amazon palette that I got previously. Um, I have way more than tripled my money on that palette. I'm just happy to get rid of everything to just clear out some space. But this is a typical profit to that I would see on the Amazon. Everything was like in the 10 to $20 range. Some things went up to $80, but really they stayed about here. I only had one item that was I needed to completely throw out. Everything was in sellable condition, so that I was happy about. The next thing to sell over on Poshmark was a Jennifer Lopez mint off the shoulder or cold shoulder blouse. I do feel like it was a little bit outdated, but it was new with tags, and that came free from the inventory from the lady that I hauled before. So this sell was a Zara green tunic. It had cream buttons up the front. It was new with tags and that also came from that free inventory from that lady. So that actually turned out very well and I do have quite a few pieces that I still need to list from that. And that was all for Poshmark. So I'm going to go ahead and move over to Mercari. The next thing to sell was a Topps 92-93 Shack players card that actually got for my boyfriend for free. I split the profits with him, so half of it went to him, 
and the other half I'm reinvesting into more inventory. The next thing to sell over on Mercari is snowboarding goggles. I got these from my Quick Lots general merchandise half palette. Now, funny thing with these, I noticed as I was printing the shipping label, the person who bought them actually lives two minutes away from me. So I reached out to them via Mercari and I asked if they would like me to just take them to their house rather than the post office because they live closer to my house then I live closer to the post office. They never got back to me. So I just went ahead and shipped those out. I typically don't reach out to people to communicate outside of the platform, but since I saw that she only lived two minutes away from me, I really just wanted to take advantage of that. Um, not that big of a deal. It was just kind of a funny story for me. And the last thing to sell was actually over on Kitizen. Kitizen is definitely my lowest performing platform, even with kids clothes and women's clothes but what did sell over is the Batman sweatpants set so before I sold just the sweatpants and over on kiddos and I sold a complete set so that was um, I had three of those so the sweatpants was one and then I had two complete sets so I still have one left that was from the quick lots Amazon palette as well and that's all my sales for this week. As a part-time reseller, that is a pretty typical week for me. I welcome you to join me in the comments below to tell me what you think about it. Do you think I was pricing items too high, too low? Do you think it was just about right? I would also like to know about your sales this week as well. While you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to my channel to join our community and be notified when I release more videos and we can continue this conversation. I hope that the rest of your day brings you lots of love and gratitude and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye love!